Hello cave dwellers. For as long as CRT monitors have existed, I've been aware of this piece of advice floating around, which is if you scratch your monitor, you can quickly repair it using toothpaste. Now how much truth there is to that, I've never been sure, but it's been a consistent piece of advice for as long as I've been, well, populating these kind of forums. But today I'm in the unique position where I can actually put it to the test, having picked up this damaged monitor. The monitor is very lightly chipped, and if I run my finger over it, I can feel the chip a little bit, but I really wouldn't describe it as a deep scratch. The theory goes that the very light abrasive qualities of toothpaste allow us to just rub that scratch down just a tiny bit until it's no longer visible. So I grabbed the first toothpaste that came to hand, it was Colgate Total Whitening. We apply a pea sized amount or thereabouts and then I'm just using a cloth to rub it into the scratch and try and work that scratch down. Prepare yourselves then for some of the most exciting YouTube footage you'll ever see as we rub toothpaste into a monitor. After our first round of polishing, it's really made no difference whatsoever. The scratches feel just as deep, there are just as many of them, and they're just as obvious. Surely this isn't bad advice. Let's try a different toothpaste, it must be the toothpaste that I'm getting wrong. And this time we'll apply it with a cotton pad instead of a cloth. Parental guidance is advised as more toothpaste on monitor action ensues. I should mention that this video is cut down. I applied a lot more elbow grease for a lot longer than I'm prepared to admit. And once again, it's made no difference. So in one last effort, let's bring on the power tools. I'm using a Dremel on the slowest setting with a soft polishing attachment and another pea-sized amount of toothpaste. If you have an affliction to visits to the dentist, turn your sound down now. Again, this is cut down footage and I did try this for an extended period, resulting in no change to the monitor and an awful lot of toothpaste on me. So let's put this to bed then. Perhaps there are a set of circumstances where this technique applies and you'll have a good result. But for the life of me, I can't see how, unless you start to apply really abrasive techniques, which will likely give you a flat, dull patch in the middle of the screen, where you've ground the glass down and the light is refracting differently to the rest of the screen. My advice then, is to brush your teeth and not your monitors. Take care cave dwellers.